This video will guide you through how VisionWorks, our next generation life planning software, can take your financial planning business to the highest level. Thank you for your time today. What we want to do is introduce you to software that will let you know before you begin the planning process if clients will become engaged in it. But before we look at the ideal planning candidate software, I'd like to provide some background. I'm going to open up VisionWorks uh, to the financial attitude survey that's embedded in it. Now, this is an optional exercise. Uh, what's involved are 27 statements that clients respond to. And you can see that the responses are between strongly disagree and strongly agree. And these 27 statements uh, distilled down into three financial attitudes. So three statements for each attitude. Uh, we'll just go to the tactics tab and output uh, in order to uh, explain all of this to you. Uh, and we'll open up Bill's table of the responses to his financial attitudes. So first of all, what you'll notice down the left are the nine financial attitudes, accountability, work, spending, and so on. And the survey that was used for this uh, was 2,000 respondents. It was a complete coast-to-coast -coast survey and a full demographic, meaning younger to older people. And then the survey results were analyzed. And for each attitude, a low and high boundary score was created for the average group of responses. So for example, uh, for accountability, we can see that uh, Bill's score is 100, um, which is above average, the average range being 43.8 to 77.8. So your client's responses are placed in either the below average, average, or above average column. And the results of this give you some pretty significant insights into planning tactics that would really suit the client. So for example, with Bill, he wants to retire early, age 60. And I want you to notice that his work score is below average. So that's very consistent with the desire to, for uh, early retirement. Uh, but if we have a look at the total financial uh, forecast, what we see is there's actually a shortfall. So it might be uh, normal for us to suggest to Bill that he really can't afford to retire early, that by working another you know, uh, five years to 65 or something will be fewer years of consumption of his retirement resources, more years to add to his retirement resources, fewer years subsequently to draw down on them, and so on. So mathematically, working longer might solve the issue. It's pretty straightforward. But the problem is it really doesn't suit Bill. So the whole concept of financial attitudes is to make sure that we're building plans that are not just mathematically sound, but actually suit who that particular client is. So what we want to do now is have a look at um, the financial uh, uh, attitudes approach that is involved just for screening for ideal planning candidates. And what we did was we just took three of the attitudes in order to uh, create the ideal planning candidate software. And the attitudes that we're using are accountability, participation, and learning. Now, accountability merely says the results I get in life are up to me. Therefore, anything I can do to achieve my desired results is a good thing to do. If planning will help me get what I want in life, planning is worth, worthwhile. On the other hand, if somebody has a low accountability score, their attitude really is fate, luck, or whatever will deal me the hand I get, so why bother to plan? Participation measures the active involvement in the management of money. So planning candidates that have a high uh, participation score are typically pretty well organized. When you ask them for financial data, they can uh, provide it relatively easily. 
whereas somebody with a low score generally organizes their affairs in a shoebox. And when you ask for financial information, it's a real struggle for them to pull it together. Learning is the ability to take what we learn and really apply it. So somebody, again, with a high learning score will embrace their insights from the plan, their to-do list, and will want to initiate their to-do list. Whereas somebody that has a low learning score uh, is somebody who, even if they have maybe a reasonable accountability and participation score, but their learning score is such that they just may not get around to uh, implementing what they've learned. So let's have a look then at the uh, Ideal Planning Candidate Software Questionnaire. You can see that it's really quite simple. There are nine uh, statements, and again, clients respond between strongly disagree and strongly agree. Uh, by the way, we can brand these for you, which would be your logo, a business card, and applying uh, your corporate color set. Uh, so all the clients, you send this out to clients, all they do is go through, respond to the different statements, click the submit button, enter your email address, and when they click OK, an email is generated and attached to it is a special kind of file. It's called an FDF file, and it's a data file that's being extracted from the questionnaire. So when that comes in, you merely save the client's responses in their name. And then all you need to do is run the ideal planning candidate software and enter uh, the responses. So to do that, it's quite simple. We just click the add button, type in the client's name. So I'll make it Bill Smith. Um, click the import from FDF file, locate his uh, data file, uh, open it up, and you can see it now populates the different uh, uh, answers. And then you just uh, click this button. And what happens is that his scores, then, uh, his scores are then generated and, uh, and placed in the appropriate column. And we can see for Bill, his accountability score is 100. So he's absolutely at the top of the range. Uh, you know, the results I get in life are up to me. On the other hand, his participation score is pretty much dead center average. So he's not necessarily all that well organized. But when it comes to learning, uh, you know, anything that uh, he learns he likes to apply in life. Uh, let's have a look at how this works when we combine Sue as partner. So we'll click the add button, add Sue Smith, and then add Sue scores uh, by importing them from the FDF file. And uh, we can see in her case, she also has a high accountability score. And interestingly, she has a high participation score, higher than Bill's whereas her learning score is just actually low average. So when we click the OK button, what we're going to do is we're going to um, uh, combine them. Uh, first of all, we just have to link Bill Smith in uh, with uh, Sue. And, th and then what that does is it generates an aggregate score. And the aggregate score is the higher of the individual score. So in this case, Bill's accountability score Sue's participation score, Bill's learning score. And this is important to understand simply because uh, when we're giving out a questionnaire, for example, rather than giving it to Bill, Sue's actually the one who's most organized when it comes to finances. So we'd actually give the questionnaires uh, out to Sue. So now when we click the OK button, what we're going to do is generate their psychographic grade. And we see that their scores are a total of 41, but the grade is A, and this is what's important. So anybody with a B, B plus, or A grade is an ideal planning candidate. Anybody with a C or B minus grade is not really particularly suited to planning. So what that tells us about Bill and Sue is they would very much embrace a, a relatively thorough financial plan. Uh, on the other hand, anybody with a C or B minus score 
uh, really just a lighter retirement plan would be most suitable for them. They're really not going to get deeply involved in the planning process. So the whole point of this fairly simple exercise, again, it's just, uh, you know, the nine statements, uh, two questionnaires for a couple, and then just applying their answers to, uh, um, you know, the ideal planning candidate software. The whole point of this is to make sure that we're not wasting our time, that when we offer a plan, we have an insight into the fact that Bill and Sue would really embrace a full financial plan. So, you know, that's what we would talk with them about, whereas somebody with a low score, uh, it would be much more suitable for them just to do a retirement plan. So again, the whole idea is uh, if we want to take our financial planning business to the highest level, we need to make sure that we're offering cash flow based plans only to prospects and clients who will really value them. If we offer a full cash flow based plan to somebody with a low score, frankly, we're going to be wasting our time. Uh, it's going to be a struggle to get data from them. Even if we finally get to complete a plan, there's no guarantee that they will really value it and you know make it something that um, they refer to and that we can use in our ongoing conversations with them. Uh, so next week, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about, well, how do you apply this practically? And quite frankly, there is no one size fits all software. If you're using full cash flow based software, then that's overkill for somebody who's got a C or B minus psychographic grade as measured by the ideal planning candidate software. On the other hand, if you're offering, on, offering only retirement plans, but you've got somebody with a B, B plus or A psychographic grade, they'd like to have a much deeper dive into the planning process. So uh, we want to make sure that we can tailor our offering uh, to what best suits clients and which is therefore um, most effective from the point of view of you know, our business model. So what we'll be doing is we'll be talking about VisionWorks, that it offers three types of plans, a basic retirement plan, will I be okay in retirement, a step up from that, retirement and estate plan, uh, that blends in the terms of wills and also does uh, life, DI, CI, and long-term care insurance needs analyses. Uh, so, And then there's, of course, the full financial plan or, or one step up actually from that is a full life plan. So what we'll be doing is we'll be talking about taking the results of the uh, ideal planning candidates screening and then understanding from them, from that, what kind of plan we should offer clients. So thanks again for your time today, and uh, I hope we'll see you next week. Book a demo. We'd be happy to show you more of VisionWorks' incredible features.